uh, when I met Craig, and this was about two years ago at this point, um, I was explaining health care to Craig as a guy that's lived his life in ERISA 401k. And as I, as I explained just how a PBM works and how the drugs flow through a plan and how, you know, PPO network contracts get dispersed and how, you know, uh, doctors bill uh, insurance companies and just how all of this works and how the price variations can be all over the board and uh, explained it had nothing to do with value. Like the value behind the cost of something in healthcare, um, there's no correlation. In fact, oftentimes you'll see the most expensive procedures or the most expensive claims come about with the lowest value providers. And so I, I just went through a diatribe I could throw up on you about health insurance and healthcare. But uh, as I explained this to Craig, Craig looked at me and goes, Pat, that's a prohibited transaction. I was like, Craig. What is a prohibited transaction? What are you talking about, man? What does that even mean? And he goes, well, under ERISA, it's a prohibited transaction. And I was like, okay, please tell me what that means. And I, I thought it was fascinating because as a guy that spent his career in, in health insurance, the idea of a prohibited transaction has never got brought up to me, right? And now you start to get more and more people putting those, those things together. But two years ago, Craig put this in my brain. And the fact that the way we do healthcare in the United States of America, if you are an employer, you are pretty much always enabling a prohibited transaction and wasting your people's money. 